All right, vocab lesson 25. We have two roots, um, penned and pens, what it means to hang or weigh. If you take a look at the vocab page, it means to hang or weigh, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and write that down. Hang or weigh or pay, okay? And think of like a pendulum. So when you think of this root, a pendulum is something that hangs, okay? I'll find you a picture here. Okay, so the, this is an example of a pendulum. It's ginormous, but you guys have all seen these where you, where you, you know, you click the one and it just keeps going, right? These are examples of pendulums right there, these little guys, okay? So that's how you can remember that it means to hang or weigh or pay, okay? I also think of like the, um, the weighing thing at the, at the grocery store where you put all your fruit in and I have to tell Owen not to climb in it because, you know, he's a ridiculous five-year-old who just sees anything as an adventure. So you hang, it's hanging from the, the scale and then you put like your bananas in and see how much it weighs. All right, so there are two big old paragraphs. We're gonna read the first one. Um, it says, the sea spider has numerous appendages attached to its body. One of them, a long tube-like structure that it uses to suck in food, is on its head. Males have an absolutely necessary pair of appendages. These appendages are indispensable because they carry the eggs until the eggs hatch. All right, so the first one is appendage, and it is something attached or hanging. Here we go, something attached to or hanging from something larger, like your arms, your legs, those are all appendages, your fingers are all appendages, because they're smaller than your torso, and they're hanging off your body. Okay. okay, the other word mentioned in that paragraph was indispensable, and indispensable means that it is absolutely necessary or absolutely worth paying for. required. All right, the next paragraph says the research staff at the lab have a pending matter to talk over with their managers, but it won't be settled for a week. The outcome is uncertain and waiting is becoming suspenseful because staff workers are anxious to know what they will be paid under the new contract. Managers have called their workers reliable and the workers want to be comp compensated or paid well for being dependable. Management's decision to do away with the pension plan is a problem. The workers want a fixed sum of money on a regular basis after they retire. Their lawyer suggests negotiating for more pay. She says a pension might be expendable or worth giving up if salaries are generous enough to allow workers to save money on their own. All right, so let's go ahead and define the rest of those words. Um, the word compensate means to pay or reward in some way for work. Um, or it means to adjust or make up for something that is lost or taken away. So back, I can't remember how many years ago there was, um, probably five years ago maybe, there were, we had nine snow days, two years in a row. And they created a policy, and this was years ago, but they created a policy that after your fifth snow day, so that you wouldn't have to come back in the spring or come back in the summertime. They compensated, compensated your snow days by making you do blizzard bags, which are essentially remote from home, remote from home days where the teachers would load a quote unquote blizzard bag online. And then you guys would get on and complete them at home to make up for the days or to compensate for the days that you were not here. Okay. So that was a couple of years ago. That is how compensation or, you know, you come to work, your paycheck is your compensation for your work. Okay. Okay. The next word is dependable. And if something is dependable, it is reliable, reliable and trustworthy. Like you can hang on this person, I guess. They're not going to collapse on you. I think it'd be a good. Okay. The next word is expendable. If something is expendable, it is not worth paying for. Or not necessary. You can leave it out. 
Okay, the next word is pending. So I don't know if you guys know this, Mrs. Kane has a shopping problem. And I use PayPal a lot if I'm doing things online. Like I get a lot of my classroom books on eBay because it's cheaper. So pending means like if you look at your bank, it's a pending transaction, meaning it's there, but it's just hanging there because it hasn't quite taken out of your checking account yet, but it's hanging there and you know it's going to go. So if something is pending, that means that it is left hanging or waiting to be settled. If you are buying a house or making a big purchase like that, it is a longer process if something is, you know, you have to go through these different banks and things like that. So it is pending, it, is, it waits to be settled there for a second. Okay, the next word is pension. And a pension is a fixed, here it goes, a fixed sum of money paid regularly by the government or an employer. And the last word for this list is suspenseful. And just like when you're watching a suspenseful movie or you're reading a suspenseful book, it is full of excitement and anticipation, something that keeps you hanging. I'll give you a second to write that down and then we'll move on to our other root of the week. Okay, the next root is sal and it means salt, okay? So when you think of sal, think of salt, which is just, you guys know what salt is. All right, so when we look at the next thing, it is four, um, four words, and we're going to read this. It's a little dialogue, okay? Maria said, let's go snorkeling in the ocean. I'd like to see some salt water, fish, and plants. Walking near the ocean's edge, Jordan tripped and went underwater. She came up coughing and said, this water tastes salty. My dad, the chemist, would say it has salinity. Nia offered. After they swam, they sat down for lunch. Maria bit into her sandwich and made a face. This salami is really salty. I don't like such salty meat. Just then, sand blew into Nia's eye. Does anyone have saline solution, the salt and water mix I use to rinse my contact lenses? Okay, that's the end of that. So salami, as it said, salty meat. You have it, that's, they, they use the salt to cure it, okay? Delightful with some sandwich pepperoni and some lettuce and a tomato. It's really good. Okay, the next word is saline, like a saline. Um, there's a saline level. There's a saline solution for your contact lenses. If something is made of, uh, if something is saline, it is of salt, like salt, or salty. The next word is salinity. And that is the proportion, maybe it'll type, the proportion of salt in a solution. So things can have more salinity than others. If it's saltier, it is going to have a higher salinity. Okay? Okay, the last word is salt water. And this one's really difficult. Salt water is made up of salt and water. Okay? That one's a really tricky word to remember. Okay, so your vocabulary is very similar to what you know what to do or know how to do. Um, you have your first four words with penned and pens, okay? And you put what it means. You have a picture. You could even use the one that I just found. That's fine. Um, four additional words, and it should be on membean. Two words in a sentence. These two words are not, or these two sentences are not from Google, okay? And you need to make sure that you show that you know what the word means. So you can't just say, I'm dependable. You could say, I am dependable because people can count on me. I am reliable, okay? Same thing with Sal. Um, you're going to um, say what it means with a picture, four additional words. And this one has uh, used to, to use word info. Um, and then two words from your list, those four that we just had, in um, two sentences. Again, don't just say, I like salami. Say why you like it, okay? And then the last part, this one's fun for us. Um, it says, compose a short paragraph about things that make you salty. And when you're salty, you're kind of sassy and you're a little angry, right? So complain about something. What makes you salty? Use three list words from either set. So you can use any of these 12 words to talk about what makes you salty or a little bit angry, okay? We're going to give you about 15 minutes in class to get started on this. And then this is going to be due tomorrow because of our shortened week.